You're overreacting, Doctor. I'm just trying to live up to the expectations of my new title, Chief Resident. Going over staff paperwork is part of my exciting job. Since when? I was just filling Newman in here on some of my new responsibilities, thanks to Rita Madison, like going over old insurance claims, stuff like that. Morgan, do yourself a favor. Don't busy yourself with paperwork. You're going to have enough of that once the trauma unit gets underway. Uh, okay. Just like to do a thorough job. So do I. Which reminds me, I have a patient to check up on. Excuse me. Dax was pretty disappointed he didn't get named as senior resident. No sense in rubbing salt in the wounds. I know. I'm just trying to understand what makes this guy tick. Yeah. What do you mean we can't do it? I... Marty, I own this paper. When I want something done, I expect you to handle it for me. Listen, I don't, I don't care if the paper has been put to bed. I'll absorb the cost. Yes, that's, I want a whole new edition. I... Marty, lock the doors behind him. I'll pay him double time, triple time, whatever they want, okay? I, I, and I'm not going to use the paper's money. I'm going to use my own. Right. Okay, now take this down. I got your new lead for you. When I was a little girl, and if I was feeling lonely or sad, you know what I'd do? I'd... I lie in bed at night, and I make a list of all the things that made me happy. And they, they, they didn't have to be big things like trips to Europe or anything like that. Just stuff like butter pecan ice cream with hot fudge, or getting my training wheels off my bike, or just hugging my dolly like you're doing right now. You know, one thing you have, Charlie, that I didn't have, was a daddy who really loved me. Cass is the best father any girl could have. And just seeing him reading to you at night or giving you rides on his shoulders just makes me glad to know that a parent and child could be so happy together. you're going to have the whole rest of the evening stretching on endlessly in front of you. We really are all alone, aren't we? The worst part is when it happens so suddenly. You never get a chance to say goodbye. It took me ages to realize that Mac was never going to come back. Cass will probably go through that. Thank God Charlie is too young to really understand everything. God help her, won't she? Find out how violent a death her mother had. You know, violence brings up all sorts of anger in you. I still feel that anger. I can't imagine what Lorna must go through after finding Luke after he was shot. We have a call, don't we? Yeah, we do. Life goes on. so wonderful for me, feeling these emotions again. And you know, it's such a relief that I don't feel like I'm betraying. I know it, 
It's caused lots of problems being in love with John, but... You know. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, I have all of those pictures of Mac all around the house. And Matthew always kids me. He says, you got him around there so that you won't forget what he looks like. But that's not it. I just... You can't let go that easily. But I'll never forget him. How he looked at Felix's cheek against mine. The way he called my name every time he came home. Rachel. You don't forget who you love. I just hope that someday... You'll see them again. Hmm. Maybe that's John. Yeah, okay. Okay. It is. It is. Hi. How is everybody? Well, Cass is finally resting, and Maggie's in with Charlie, and oh God, I'm glad to see you. I love you. Oh, darling, it's so good to hear your voice. Yeah, I'm all right. Oh. Well, it's good to hear you say that. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever miss me. Yeah, it's been, it's been difficult. Are you going to come back for, um, for her memorial service? Why not? Well, all right. How about... How about if I come visit you there, okay? Oh, come on. I just... Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll come... I'll come right after the memorial service, okay? I can't wait to see you. So, according to uh, Margaret Banning's best friend, Carlton's, she went up to Chicago, had surgery. But ends up dying of something you people just don't die of. They think it's mysterious, and I happen to agree with them. And what do you want to bet that Fax Newman is working at that hospital in Chicago? I think it's a fair bet. Now, I can go up to Chicago and talk to uh, Banning's husband. I think he'll give me the circumstances of her death, so... Yeah, as soon as we get back from Chicago, we'll be able to nail Fax. I'm sure of it. I hope you're right, Watts, but you're not going anywhere. You go to Chicago, you stay right here. I've got all my best officers out in the field, and I need you here to help me run these operations smoothly. Go ahead, go to Chicago. You make sure you stay in touch with me. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, Tim. Tibbs! Get in here! Yes, sir. I want you to put a tail on Dr. Fax Newman immediately. Dr. Newman, the fundraiser is tomorrow. And although you have accrued a number of sick days and quite a bit of vacation time, I, I simply can't imagine not having my entire staff there for the ribbon-cutting ceremony. I'm just, uh, burned out. Is that code for you haven't gotten over your jealousy of Dr. Morgan Winthrop? Uh, read me like a book. Look, I, I know it was a blow not getting the chief resident position. Believe me, I understand. Well, you're not central to the event, so I guess I could make an exception. Although, the nursing staff is going to be furious. If I can believe the gossip mill, you are quite the dancer, Dr. Newman. Well, I'll, uh, save you a foxtrot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold you to that. And please, make good use of your time off. Oh, I intend to. 